But one thing I've been thinking of with the time rain Go on. is if it's just the surface cells, when uh, he eventually get better because, of course, cells renew and things. So it'll just be that one cell which is uh, no, turned old. I think the implication is that the rain soaks through anything it touches. Oh. Anyway, so um, let's continue with him. <laughs> Sorry, that just use toilet sitting or standing. <laughs> I couldn't find the fucking shower option because it's like perfectly melded into the background. Oh yes, light blue text on that like, white room. Wait, it's a so do they have a room like this in every um, like node in the country? Probably because it's like standard room. Oh, so it's like Airbnb. So he goes and says, like, "I'm a porter. Can I just rent a room?" Yeah, sure. And for God's sake, Sam, can we get a sample of out your in it, please? <laughs> oh, God. It probably is. What the use should, use should, toilet standing. <laughs> should the opportunity no, arise. What? Did, did, Hartman just turns to use fucking Jurassic on the BTs. Detailing the effects of bodily fluids from individuals like us on BTs. It is only by recovering these materials that we can unearth the knowledge of the past. Not just the death stranding, but also the mystery of your body's unique properties and even our doom's affliction. There may well be hope for humanity. There's no actually state of what dooms is yet. I have no interest in rebuilding America. Which is a condition that lets them not die. The past. Death. Almost. Oh, almost. It's almost time. Was well, this Princess Bride? Shit. <laughs> yeah, it's this Princess Bride or something. After He's not dead. He's only mostly dead. nothing happens, then what? I said then what? Sam, sorry to bother you while you're taking a break, but I figured you'd want to hear this. Oh, maybe Can't really the rest of just Jarvis Pace. I received a number of messages addressed to you. Now, I've not taken a look myself, but I gather they're mostly from your clients. You should see if they contain any useful information. Also, this one really aggressive one just says "fuck you" in crayon on the letter. <laughs> There's something else I'd like to share with you. With the Cairo network, we now have the power to reclaim our past. Data once thought lost forever from every corner of America can be pieced back together from fragmented records. I've already started working our on my high score on Flappy Birds. Progress, of <laughs> but as we expand the network and integrate more way stations and cities, we'll be able to recover more and more information, such as the previous expedition's logs and reports. Also, I found numerous every records of... Various artists from uh, the period of the 2000s. It's an interesting time. One uh, artist in particular I found record for is a Shadman. I, I haven't had the time to go through it yet, but I'll be doing that after I end the call with you. <laughs> then, literally, 2.88 2. seconds later, it just my God, to... don't ever look at those records. No, no, it cuts to Die Hartman. Oh, God. Why can't I... Uh, like... Oh god, I wish I could go another mask over the first mask. <laughs> well, no, it just cuts to Die Hardman, and the only thing changes is like, his eyes widen because, of course, you can't see his expression. It just no, no, it, it, it cuts to Die Hardman. He's like trying to stab his eyes out of his screwdriver, but like because he's glued the mask, and he's like, "Fuck! <laughs> why did the glass have to be shatterproof? <laughs> can't well, unsee." Well, yeah, it's like glass over his eyes now. Yeah, yeah, the, the mask has goggles. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's just depressed because he can't unsee that shit ever. It's too hardcore even for him. Oh dear. <laughs> I always wondered what the other end... Is it like into his body? Is it like into his bloodstream or something? Or what? The umbilical cord's got to be connected to something. Yeah. You do everything in your power to save Bibi. We are. But we cannot release the sun just yet. Believe me when I'm telling you. 
handsome woman in the mask who's done nothing but lie to me. BBs are from dead mothers, right? And if he's the father... No, no, no. Brain dead mothers. Yeah, brain dead mothers. Does that mean he had to... Uh... Well, no, the implication is that he fucked her before she became brain dead. Oh, I was wondering if we're getting to the territory of if he did it after. If he had to contribute to you to the project. Out of curiosity, how's it doing oh, look, Kodak. Uh, before I answer that... Something wrong? When I hook up my BB, I see things. What kind of things? Like a face, someone I don't know, calling to me. There's this room, too, with other people talking, but I can't make out the words. Hmm, lead-through effect. Didn't I warn you about this? You're mistaking the BB's memories for your own. They're false flashbacks, nothing more. Let me explain. A BB is harvested from its steel mother at around 28 weeks and placed in a pod. To be clear, this is before it's even born. The procedure halts its development. But even at 28 weeks, its sensory systems have matured enough to process external stimuli. It is more than capable of encoding this information into memories, which can bleed into yours via your connection. So who's the man I saw? Someone from the medical team, maybe? Or a BB technician? Does it matter? The BB has been in circulation for a while now. It's been handled by a lot of people. How should I know which one made an impression? Because you're the expert. No one's an expert, Sam. BBs were developed decades ago in secret. They're your quintessential black boxes. We may use them, but we don't truly understand them. Believe me, I've been trying to learn more, but almost all of the old records are gone. If I find anything out, I'll tell you, all right? Dead man's honor. Wait, so if they have to be harvested, is it like, um... Sam. The sequel to Prometheus, where... Did you ever course. see that one? Where it was called? You know I've never seen any of the Alien movies. I thought you saw Prometheus and the new one, though. No, just that review. Well, okay, uh, there's a character who's... It's a woman who's basically been opened up. Uh, because... Okay. Unfortunately, our printer is offline. I know, I know, after all the trouble you went through to bring us those materials. This one's on us. We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. The printer needs it to communicate with the chiral. Good, you've got to connect the printer to the Wi Fi! <laughs> Critical was right! <laughs> if I'm right, they'll have taken it to their drop site. Okay, come on, so there's this woman who walked out. Uh, an AI, uh, AI has been experimenting with the xenomorphs on her, but to uh, extract them more quickly, you basically opened up her front half for easier extraction so it doesn't just kill her every time. Oh, so good. you can harvest more from her. Is a base like that where, again, does he have to? Does this man Madsen have to contribute every time? He's saying, "Well, uh, it's for the country." <clears throat> Here we go. Unzips. <laughs> oh dear. Or do they ke ke uh, to keep some? Uh, uh, how did Demons got some of his vital fluids Mom's on occasion for these things? Schematic to your PCC. If you don't have it on you, consider fabricating one. You never know when you'll... Oh, for God's sake. So different missions. I don't want to put Mama the that. fucking printer. I don't want to put the fucking tower in my thing. That was the... I'll take one. Order assigned. Oh, that's right. Fuck. What? What are you gonna do with that? 
just got nothing on the ground. I'll come back for it later. Can you imagine if uh, the main character said, Oh yeah, I'll deliver this package for you. And he just, uh, after he took no, it... No, no, that's not a package, just, that's the watchtower. Uh, the watch. Oh, wait. But if it was a package, he just took it, and then just left it there and walked away. Everyone was like, What? This is a guy people have been giving three stars to out of? Uh, with, if he goes back for those dirty magazines, when he delivers them, is he just going to get two out of five stars? Too much water? <laughs> oh dear. If they're smart, the company which produces these films, uh, these magazines, they have to compete with the now growing internet, um, shrink wrapper. But most mules almost always bring stolen shipments home with them. Find the post box, steal back the cargo. Simple as that. But be careful, these guys are armed. If this goes sideways, be ready to fight. Fight? With what weapon? I know you could throw uh, stuff at them. Oh good, he's got the Superman 64 punches. <laughs> <laughs> and now we need is a giant spider to fight in them real goods. Sure was nice of the game to give us this path. Oh dear. I'm gonna run to the fucking wall, god damn it. Wait, the equipping strands? Is it literally a piece of rope? Yeah, it's a piece of rope, isn't it? Use it to avoid their attacks. I think it's mostly just like rock cable. Oh. Well, I'm guessing uh, the main character is an expert in using ropes. Like, He's like a master scarf at this point, with the amount of uh, knots he had to learn for extracurricular activities. <laughs> You've never seen him. He must have refilled it at the base. Oh, it refills automatically. Clip with that rock. Fix the 3D printer, get more boots. Remember, Sam, before you approach the mule drop site, we recommend you use a watchtower to confirm the location of the post box containing our cargo. You're building it just halfway off a cliff. There's some fucker walking around over there, no problem. So I'm just like... Where's a good... Yeah, I'm, like, I'm climbing higher the cliff, kids. Like, where's a good spot to build this watchtower? What? You think that they're going to see him run after you? It's going to be like that scene from Monty Python, where it's just uh, when he's storming the castle, he's just... Uh, the two guards see him running in the distance. Is that going to be him? Just you see him running towards you in the distance where you'll just set, have the time to set up an entire watchtower? But that's from... And to pull up the scene. <laughs> what I'm going to do in a very bad move, I'm going to cross over there and just pop it down there and hope the guy doesn't start running towards me like the Monty Python sketch. Well, he, he just reminds his own business. Then he hears uh, all sorts of construction sounds on her. Oh, Whose footsteps are these? 
Yeah, yeah that's kind of what we've got. He just turns around there's just a watchtower created behind him. That's kind of what we're banking on here. Or is it like the Fortnite where you can just build stuff on the fly? Two entrees, one wall. Let, let's not and say we didn't. I was just thinking, what if the Death Stranding was a kind of black hole? <laughs> no. Just, just no. Are you saying the world wasn't devastated by Fortnite? Okay, you got me there. Yeah. I want that man's shoes. Construction complete. Sorry, they took up about one percent of the screen and we're using like a Mac Teeny at the moment. And you just said, I like that guy's shoes. It's like two pixels of shoes when you said that. No, no, I want that man's shoes. What, just from the name, Mule Boots? Well, no, because our shoes are kind of fucked at the moment. Talk about the ones covered in your own blood or the other ones? Yep. If only we have D-Dog with us, they could just scout out all the enemies around you. I can fucking take him. Mule drop sites are rarely deserted, so remaining undetected is key. I wonder if you can do this if the game's like that. If you're on the cliff and there's a guy below you, if you can empty the tank onto him. It's Kojima, so <laughs> probably. Oh, uh, that'd be the ultimate trolling move, wouldn't it? It's like, huh? Where's this coming from? Is it raining? Oh dear. Just like that one Dragon Ball film. Why? No, there's one, uh... I remember it happened in one Chinese film. No, not Chinese film. Some film starring Jackie Chan, but I forget which one. So I'm it's, a... I think technically an American film, but like 9% of the people are Chinese or of Chinese descent. Mm-hmm. So what you can do, just sneak up to him with all this cargo on your back. And just try and rope him up. Don't turn the fuck around. In theory, I'd like to, yes. Oh. Then you'll sneak around and people just see the orange cargo containers in the green grass. It's like, what? Give me them shoes. Problem is, I could only see two people from the roof, so we're gonna have to go into the rest of this blind. Isn't that what the watchtower's for? Yeah, but I can only see two people from the watchtower. Well, you meant two people, including yourself. No, no, just while I was up there, I could only see two people, so we're gonna have to, go, have to play the rest of this by ear. Oh, some kind of tent there. That's all the stuff they're carrying. Yeah, just there's a lot of stuff in this post box. Isn't that the one you need? Uh, the print interface? For the... <laughs> so are you trying to park all on it? Alright, let's 
Very quietly leave the way we came before. Don't you want to check the camp then, leave? Would it be make more sense to do it that way? I want to get the sprinter part and then get out and then I'll come back later for more stuff. Like, do you really want to get into a fight when I'm trying to steal a pair of shoes in a fucking 3D printer? But like, like I've learned my lesson from the first half hour of the other episodes, Sam. Like, wait, are these special shoes that connect to Wi-Fi? That's why they're so advanced? <laughs> Oh no, Critical was right. I just wanted better fucking shoes, because like, we've worn through the durability of the other ones. Already? It must be really shit. No, we were like halfway down, but the point is... Like, I want more shoes for when we run out of shoe. Anyway... That's right, I've got to climb back up over the fucking rocks, um... Fuck it, we'll figure it out when we get there. How about you get back without climbing over all the rocks, like last time? Well, no, because we climbed over rocks to get in, remember? Let's just move. Move around the cat. We're gonna get fucking pinged on the way out, aren't we? Now <sighs> yeah, we're good so far. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Fucking move walk on the spot there. That's not move walking. He, he saw that though, like, he yeah. had no fucking friction walking forward. Just slide, what's the worst that could happen? Apart from losing all your cargo. No, I think we can just make that without fucking up though. I'm a genius. <laughs> From the same, it does kind of look like a boat, or at least in front of it. Damn, told you, it's in a cargo high. Shame we got to deal with their bullshit at all. Back in the day, AI did everything. Deliveries were handled by unmanned vehicles and drones. And all we had to do was sit back and let them work. It was revolutionary. Damn near singularity. No reason for it not to take off. But it didn't. People didn't like it when we took the human element out of the service industry. So, after some consideration, we put it back in. We made jobs no one really needed and gave them to folks who couldn't live without them. And from there, it snowballed. Now we got cults of cargo chasing crazies who get off the high shipments. So, Jackal's always on the lookout. The next they're saying part. they make could sure solve the pirate problem overnight, bridges, but they don't Your want to? Restrictions lifted. They could just use machines to make everything more safe? No, no, they were using machines to make deliveries, but then they needed to make more jobs for people, so they stopped using machines for deliveries. And then people got an adrenaline high from delivering Amazon packages. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, I've met my delivery man. Like, I'm on charging terms with my delivery drivers. They are not fucking adrenaline junkies. They're like, middle class white, not middle class, working class white people who are like, in their forties. I remember uh, seeing a post that sounded like, uh, did you ever play Ding Dong Dash as a kid? This is the perfect job for you. Ring the doorbell and then run away. <laughs> oh cool, it's pizza time. You got what? No. No. Pizza time. Wait. Does this mean uh, if we're late, Mr. Z's won't pay us? <laughs> oh my god, Spider-Man stole that guy's delivery. <laughs> Finally, I can make lodges. <sighs> Time to get that chiral printer in working order. Sorry to push you through so much trouble, but trust me, it'll be worth it. I wonder if they have to connect their Excellent. toaster to the, the light light. Have a scratch on it. Oh god, no. Never doubted you'd come through for it. The toaster just has a really angry AI in it. Okay, for some reason, they programmed an opera singing AI into the toaster. Sounds like something out of uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I'm like 80% sure that was a joke in Red Dwarf, though like the toaster was actually a Broadway singer or something. Oh. Sam, how are your shoes holding up? 
Not too well, I imagine. Conditions being what they are. Not yeah, yeah. They've already stolen shoes. You don't have to explain shoes to me. Put, put shoes. <laughs> Can you imagine if you just said, that? "Look, I've already stolen several pairs of shoes out there." Wait, what do you mean by stolen? Uh, nothing. The following hologram, do you? Oh, good. We've got more bandwidth, Sam, so we can. Uh... Good, good. I just imagine the guy who pulled up the hologram again. No, Sam, it's, it's going to be a few minutes, it's going to be an hour or two before we can fully make the printer. Sam. I understand you now have access to a it's boot like Steve Merchant. An extraordinarily useful device that can only function because of the manner in which our network utilizes the beach, enabling us to transfer massive volumes of data instantaneously. Since, under normal circumstances, such transfers would take hours, if not days, some have speculated that the chiral network might, in essence, be a time machine. That it is transmitting data into the past. Suffice it to say, we have yet to fully grasp the fundamental nature of What's the beach is outside of time? The beach is the afterlife. I thought the beach was just California. No, the beach... Sorry, you... Let me really take this in for a second. He just said, we're using the beach to send emails quicker, basically. So I'm just imagining someone going over <laughs> with, like, their phone and a uh, USB and just plugging the other end of USB into just the sand. Oh, great. Uh, no, 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 no. It's the fact that, like, they're, they're trying to, like, jack their Wi-Fi bandwidth off by passing the Wi-Fi through the fucking afterlife. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Hmm, good Wi-Fi in heaven today. <laughs> Oh, God. They kind of had that in um, some of the Halo books, the Forerunner trilogy, but that made sense. Okay. But they technically used the afterlife to store financial information. Good. Good. I'm glad that Halo had plot points on par of hitchhikers. Uh, yeah, well, basically, the Forerunners had a kind of psychic network, which none of them really knew who invented it. But they mainly used it to store financial information and, and sometimes psychically communicate. Turns out it was a, made by an even older civilization. Precursors? Uh, yeah, the precursors. Because all their technology works on like psychic links and things. That thing you're holding is a crystal oh yeah, that was right, because in one of the Hitchhiker's books they went to the afterlife as well. Did they? Because it was the entire sex book, because there's just a bit where Zaphod goes to Asgard. Oh yeah, because he has to improve uh, force uh, public uh, image. Uh, I swear to God, the Six Hitchhikers book gets funnier of every Marvel movie that comes out. Found formations resembling human handprints, surrounding rocks and debris, tend to float a few feet above the ground, and they are most commonly found in areas with high precipitation. Got all that? Hmm? Rain, floating rocks, golden handprints. That's your trifecta. Look for these three things and you'll find the crystals. If you've been especially observant, then perhaps you already know where to look. He is so fucking smug. Now, as it'll take an hour or two to fully integrate the 3D printer, some of the staff here had some downtime and wondered if you'd be interested. Uh, yeah, just let me uh, drop off all the stuff and I'll be right with you. He's just gonna carry three ladders. I'm not gonna carry three ladders, I'm gonna put three in storage. Okay. Sorry, I'm just having a lot of difficulty with this for some reason. Well, I just uh, thought, you know, Die Hardner said that they could recover some things thought lost. Yep. Perhaps files they could recover is uh, certain how to guides, back, how people did things back in the day. What? Like, they're gonna use how to basic as a method for rebuilding America? No, I was thinking how to. Uh, Fake a murder. A guide to modern life. Let's pretend to have witnessed a murder. Uh, <laughs> it's like, how to fake a murder? First of all, it can't be anyone you know, because they're still alive, aren't they? Sorry. Fascinating. So this is how people lived in the 1970s. How much have Elsa would last? <laughs> so this is an option that we have. What, just dump everything? 
<laughs> so, where does all the other shit have to go? Oh dear, man. If you go into orders, I might show. Oh, what's the story bad news? So they want more drugs. Oh dear. All right. Oh, this is awful. It was this. So that's yes. annoying. Have a pleasant journey. I'm just gonna like join in with the poker's point. Smiley faces in the doorway. <laughs> We're gonna come back here next week and the door will just be full of smiley face. Alright, good, just directly across from us. Good to know. I think it's maybe at one point Hartman just uh, kind of said, Oh, Sam. Um, in preparation for the events later on, uh, if you see any of those magazines you dropped earlier, to get everyone in the mood. I'd appreciate it if you pick them up. Oh dear. Now excuse me, I just have to go for a minute. Then you just hear like the machine go <laughs> after he like dies again. Given that my heart shuts down every twenty one minutes, I have trouble pleasuring myself the same way that other men do. No, he just has to do it faster. <laughs> Can you imagine if uh, just afterwards it's like, uh, unsuccessful, didn't find her. Oh, better get started. <laughs> Auto erratic asphyxiation. No, oh, where's it? Uh, he's joining and everyone's getting started. Don't worry, I'll be with you in 20 minutes. And then when he wakes up, he's like, ah, I see you've gone started. Well, let me join in. <laughs> Hat Hartman's just the guy that no one wants to fuck because he's going to die in the middle of it. Yep. Fucking genius. <sighs> Fucking genius. For someone to jump like that with that much shit on their back. Yeah, I... My uh, weight to clothing theory is catching on. Reinforced spine, I'm just saying. Oh, what was that thing? Uh, it's like the first or second episode. You found a clip where it's from some anime. I don't think it's Dragon Ball. But it like, takes off his glove and it... Oh what, weight. like the Naruto thing where he oh, takes the Naruto. Yeah, where he takes the weights off his leg and they're so heavy they break the fucking ground. They were weights, they look like just scraps of cloth or something. No, they were training weights. <laughs> I mean, that's the only fucking thing from Naruto I know is the weighted clothing seat. <laughs> yeah, I just imagine it's like that he's gone so used to carrying all this shit around that uh he is like from John Carter of Mars without it. His body's just adapted that much. Anybody hear me? Oh, that might be for the hand crystal things. Yeah, I'm just kind of annoyed because I thought that was crystals.
There we go. So, with those crystals, what do you think he does with them? Does he just have like a mini grinder? That's not like, uh, better check these in genuine. And that gets like a straw out of his He pocket. just sprinkles them on top of his fried egg. Oh yeah, that's the good shit. Ever since the go. police banned me from using their pepper spray. <laughs> well, uh, I'm just imagining what he goes into the uh, police, he keeps sneaking into the police locker to get the CS spray. Yeah. And just starts drinking it or something. But dude, you can keep doing this through time I caught you this month. <laughs> Please, man, I need my fix. Are you, that was one of the best fucking jokes in The Simpsons, though, where Homer just puts pepper spray in his eggs. And then, like, he's got, like, the red eye from eating the stuff, and he's just like, oh, yeah. I imagine just in the one of the bases, just uh, sound in the corner with a uh, with a can of CS spray, just with a straw, he's drinking it. Because, <laughs> you know, uh, snorting those crystals gives them some weird cravings. Thank God for other people having the same fucking idea. Like, near the end of the game, if he like uh, takes off all the cargo, could he just beat up literally anyone? Even the gold mask guy, he's just like, um, it's almost like that pro ZD sketches. Like uh, the final boss just like lightly yeah. slaps him and he just goes down in one hit. Probably. I collected all the pine cones. Is this, in this case, I collected literally every piece of luggage in America. Is this the fucking origins of One Punch Man? <laughs> But like, <laughs> like his American counterpart. No, he does all the training except he uh, one punch man training. Except he does it with luggage on his back, with weighted clothing. Oh my god, Sam! <laughs> it's a fucking bike. Yeah, but the email said it doesn't work. Ah, uh, didn't you read it? Nope. <laughs> I tried to. Like the three seconds against screen. Yeah, it doesn't work. Sam. I got false the hope. Crystal deliveries are a little different from the usual. The process is pretty uh, simple. Fuck it, we'll figure the bike out Access later. Access the delivery terminal to drop off any Cairo crystals you're carrying. Please, just let me drop off the fucking bags. But he delivers that, and when the whole gun comes up, he just sees Sam jittering like he's a, a nurse from Sun Hill, just like, uh, 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 twitching and saying, Hey, Sam, are you okay? You seem to be twitching. Let me take a Cairo account of your blood. No, nope, no blood tests. I, I, I'm fine. I just need some more crystals. And see a spray if you have any. <laughs> no, you took our last shipment. Good, good. That's just a hoover. Fuck. That's like the worst way of doing it. Got some chiral crystals for us? Also, why does that hologram look like a fog top young John Delancey? Oh yeah. Which makes me wonder if expanding the network had something to do with it. Not a bad haul. But is this cute? Plenty enough for research. Nah. We'll take good care of it. Too low grade for him. Container repair spree. Bridge. We can actually build bridges now? See, if, I, if I'm right in my thinking in other people's oh, structures, course, stay yeah. around when people are playing online. I'm tempted to just put a bridge outside. Bypass the whole bullshit with the ladders. <laughs> That's container repair spray for patching up cargo containers. Good for dealing with timefall degradation and all that. Nice. Useful stuff if you and your cargo have been through the ringer. We've added it to your supplies list, so it's readily available if and when you need it. Is this like the equivalent of holy water from uh, Cast Vader? It's water from the shores of the beach. It reverses time. So oh, he just says like spray bottles, like spraying it on everything. <laughs> then he goes into a cave and said, "Finally, something to fix myself." Unzips the spray, <laughs> just starts dipping it in there. <laughs> I think the spray. Oh it. no, I used too much. If he dips it in, it goes all the way back again. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Engineer, pull that scene from. Uh, no, no, don't put the fucking Deadpool scene in. 
I wasn't thinking Deadpool. I was thinking, um, I've slept too long. <laughs> and I said, Oh no, I went back too far. And he's like, and he gets out with like microscopes. Like, no, no. <laughs> So then he's like standing around. He spends like next hour looking for rain. He's just putting his out, please rain, rain. He's trying to catch rain drops. And this was the story of Norman Reedus's penis. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying earlier about it's on sunbathing outside. Yeah, he's just going to be waiting for the rain. Imagine if uh, Fragile catches him again. What are you doing? Are you? Nope. I don't want to know. Trust me, I did some damage. I vaguely know what I'm doing. Wait, why are you taking more requests? You've got a load of shit on your back. Oh, wait. That's pretty easy. Sorry, that face. Yeah. Like, oh god, we could not possibly fuck this up, Sam. Are, are you, you sure, sure about that? I'm just gonna skip the trailer, because, like. Again, we know what we're doing. <laughs> Look at that. If it's that large, it's just gonna lose so much. But just look at that, it's like stupid spray okay, Sam. I am aware. Make your way to the designated construction area for the bridge. The foundation should already be in place. Yeah, okay, you have to carry stuff. We'll you can't just freeze any print, you actually have to have the stuff for you. Terminal nearby. Access it to submit additional materials. It really does just look like that Titan Critical tried to make flashlight armor though. What do you mean try? Okay, he did. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be honest, no, this reminds me again of, bizarrely, that JoJo Persona crossover thing. Oh god. Are you talking to the guy with the phone books? Yes, the guy who just straps phone mocks to himself to avoid anti-tank bullets. Bam. What was his stand like called again? Um, I believe it was it's called Painkiller, if I remember correctly. Access it to submit additional materials. So weird. Okay, the bridge was all right. Okay. I think I vaguely understand stuff now. Have been upgraded to skilled handler. Bravo, Sam. That bridge should make life easier for a lot of people. Fucking aliens are abducting my package. Who passes that way will put it to good use. Keep an eye out for other spots that could do with another well-placed bridge. Right, hang on. I just want to. I want another bridge over here. If I can just sit like. When we inevitably have to go back the other way, I don't have to fuck around with ladders on the shore again. God damn it. You just have to find the right spot. They fought it through. Let's get this done. Ah, shit. What? Rain. My cargo. <laughs> Does it all the rain uh, ages, or is it something? No, all the rain. All the rain is fucked forever. Doesn't mean that all plants on Earth will be basically uh, dead. Because when they age faster, then they can Possibly. You can upgrade the bridges? No, we need mounts to finish it, is the problem. Why are you carrying a load? I need, I'm gonna need 800 exactly, hang on. On the, on the bright side, this does give me a chance to offload some of the shit we're carrying. 
Yeah, I want this fucking bridge finished though, so that um, we don't have to go through all of that shit again and run into shards of puss. This is probably going to end up coming back to bite me in the arse later, but still. And then the fucking rain starts up again. Why? You could dump all the metals there and then. That's what I'm doing. Because we'll come back for the rest later. Just so you know, Sam, Distro Centers and the like are stocked with materials you can use to fabricate equipment. You can also take what you need to build structures. That said, there are limits to what each facility can spare. Check their terminals to see what they are. Frantically trying to build this fucking bridge before we have the uh, suit. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Gotta find out what our new fucking mission is. Good wind farm. I want the fucking bridge constructed before we take that on. A lot of people walking through here. I think that's just you. I'm pretty sure that the different colored ones are some of the online people. Oh. A lot of people coming to and from the same orgy. <laughs> well, you we can't have no do with just a few people. Okay. True. But remember, you have to get planning permission from the council first. No, that's how they used to do things in the 70s, as uh, <laughs> Die Hartman found out. Weapons restrictions. Far more lax now. Oh, dear. And of course, everyone's having a good time, but uh, they have to make allowances for Hartman. Don't, you just have to make sure that you don't have more than 14 people at the dinner table, nice. because at that point, you've definitely got more than one cabinet minister present. Now, it's mainly just thinking, everyone's having a good time, and then there's just Hartman, kind of sorting himself out. Because everyone knows you'll only be there briefly. Oh dear. <laughs> It'll be there for the majority of it, but... Alternatively, they have, have to... to tell people... That, oh, so, sorry. Gonna have to stop you now. I'm gonna have to go for a few minutes. Alternatively, they have to do it weekend at Bernie style. Do, 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 do. There's a man, let me try you some. Well, they haven't suffered from time rain, has it? I thought I could run under the bridge and get, like, hide from the rain that way, but no, the bridge is too big. Ah, oh, dear. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons will remain locked. What's with the weird spikes? Is it stuff fake with driving it? Probably, because the last thing you want is, like... Welcome, Sam. It'll be the, it'll be the mules. Okay, the last thing you want is them, like, b ramming a truck through the door. Oh, good lord, this is m fucking hectic. But on the bright side, we can make that wind farm delivery now. And, um, on that note, let's end that there.